Disclaimer. This video was created with the intention of targeting older fans of Thomas the Tank Engine. It is safe for kids to enjoy and watch, but they are not the primary intended audience. Thanks for watching my cringe. Hello YouTube, I'm back. After months of school, work, and mental deterioration, I'm back from the inner sanctions of my insanity to produce more mediocre content for all you lovely people. Now, normally I take a look at TWR items on TWR reviews, but today I found something at my local Walmart that I thought I should take a look at. Today, we'll be taking a look at Thomas the Hot Wheels car, or as the box says, Loco Motorin. Now, ever since Mattel acquired the rights to Thomas, Thomas being involved with Hot Wheels in some way was an inevitability. And here we are, at last, over half a decade later, with this monstrosity releasing just in time for Thomas' 75th anniversary. And quite frankly, with Mattel's poor management of the franchise, I'm surprised it's lasted this long. Anyway, back to the product itself. It features your standard Hot Wheels packaging with a clear view of the vehicle, a cool looking promo, and a corny description in the back, but for whatever reason the 75th anniversary logo is missing on the box I picked up. Opening the box, we can now take a more in-depth look at Thomas himself. Needless to say, this doesn't resemble Thomas whatsoever. This is a disappointment by Hot Wheels standards. They've been able to produce vehicles on par with their counterparts on screen, and I've seen more accurate Hot Wheels trains, so... So, why drop the ball with Thomas? They could have easily created a more accurate Thomas mold, slap it on a two-wheel chassis, and call it a day. So why go through the trouble to create a new mold for Thomas that doesn't even resemble him? Questionable design aside, I have to give credit where credit's due. Despite the lack of pink detailing, what little there is is nicely applied. Or at least, so I thought until I looked at the face. Mattel, if you want to assure your consumers that you have good quality control, this isn't doing you any favors. The face is placed way too low on my model when compared to others, making the forehead way too big and the mouth too small. Again, Mattel could have easily used one of the pre-existing face molds they already had of Thomas and just used that. I get that they used the stamp to save on money, but even if it isn't misplaced like mine, the paint comes off much too easily. Even in box it already had scratches. My overall thoughts, this model is absolute garbage. It barely resembles Thomas, the paint is poorly applied, and is an overall monstrosity. If you're a Hot Wheels collector, this might have some value in years to come. But to anyone looking for an accurate die-cast model on Thomas, I don't recommend this. So if you ever see this at your Welcome Armored Center, or wherever you find this, steer clear. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to put this poor thing out of its misery. See you on the flip side everyone, stay frosty and take care.